This video goes out to Braden from Langley Firearms Academy. You, sir, have been weighed, you've been measured, and you've been found wanting. What's up, crew? Welcome back to the Clover Tech channel. And today we're going to talk uh, about uh, an item of somewhat controversy the Remington Woodsman 742 rifle. This particular one is uh, semi automatic, it is in 30 6 caliber. Now recently Braden over at the Langley Firearms Academy channel put out a video talking about, uh, I think it was field to table. What he was talking about was getting into hunting on the cheap to fill your freezer with meat. Now during that video he broke out a rifle. He broke out a Remington 742 like I just showed you and he proceeded to tell the viewers out there that oh this was a great rifle and it shoots just as well as the day it was forged and I got a great deal at an estate sale on this. I only paid a hundred and fifty bucks. Well from there he goes to shoot like I don't know a three inch group or something it I don't know what it was 20 30 50 yards it, it wasn't that far and then claim that you know it was a great rifle for the money to get somebody into hunting now before I rant any further on uh, Braden over there at Langley Farm Academy let me set the record straight and let me actually inform uh, you viewers out there of the things the inherent problems that that 742 uh, actually has. Just a quick search of the Googles, type in Remington 742 headspace or maybe Remington 742 headspace problem and you'll quickly see that the Remington 742 series along with the uh, uh, 740 series as well are very notorious and very prone for opening up headspace over time. Now obviously if a bolt is not locking up correctly that can present a variety of problems. I'm sure if you have any experience with firearms at all you know this. Now sadly I've seen some comments on that video over on the Langley Firearms channel uh, talking about oh this will be my next purchase and oh I'm going to go look for one of these and that's that's fine because those folks don't know any better. But if you're looking at a Remington 742 first of all they're going to be cheap. They're going to be. And the reason they're going to be cheap is because they are notorious for headspace problems. But, as I said earlier, I own one myself. I actually picked this one up cheaper than what Braden paid. Why? Because, you guessed it, it had headspace problems. I got this one for actually under 100 bucks, not too terribly many years ago. Now, if you do go out and you pick up a used Remington 742, I highly advise that you take it to a competent gunsmith and have them check the headspace. Now, if you already own a Remington 742, there's a few things that you can look for, little telltale signs that'll tell you whether or not that headspace is starting to open up on you. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to inspect your fired brass. Check it for any cracks around the, the neck area. Check for any bulges around the base, the bottom of the case, near the, uh, near the case head. And then look at the primer. Okay? Because as the headspace opens, that's a really, really common telltale sign, is that primer will get pushed out. Now where it really gets dangerous is when that headspace opens up to the point that that primer can back all the way out because when it does the flash hole is wide open so all of those hot gases are going to come back come rushing out the back side of that case head they're going to go into the bolt potentially damage the rifle uh, blow powder back into your eyes it could potentially even blow the bolt back into your face no matter what Braden says if you spend 150 bucks on a rifle you can't use, it's not putting meat on the table. And if you spend $150 on a rifle that you've got to turn around and spend three or $400 trying to repair, well, guess what? You could have bought a really nice rifle for that kind of money. But don't just take my word for it. My buddy over at uh, Ghost Tactical, I'll throw a link up here, has uh, you know, expressed his thoughts about Braden over at Langley Firearms Academy as well. 
And ultimately, my problem with Braden does not lie in the fact that he did not give you the proper information. We're all human, and none of us know everything there is to know. However, when I reached out to Braden after he had posted this video and pointed out that, hey, you may want to go back and do a follow-up video and kind of let people know basically what I've just told you today, I was met with getting blocked from commenting on his channel and ignored in the emails. And I'm sorry, but shame on you, that's no way to run a channel. Well, that does it for the rant video today, crew. I would like to invite you, if you haven't already, to check out some of the live shows on the uh, live show schedule there, as well as some of the other videos here on the channel. As always, crew, thanks for watching, and remember, till next time, to chain fire freedom.